across the whole continent continent ocean. right ocean, ocean and continent to come see me and here we are in Naples and my, my aunt is here too hi fellow youtubers and travelers if you're watching this video I want to assume it's because you're trying to decide whether you should go to Naples or not and I make that assumption because that's exactly what I did when I was trying to make this decision I did a bunch of research I watched a bunch of youtubers I talked to friends and family members that have been to Naples before because I was really scared about what it's out there the information is out there uh, where it suggests that Naples is very dirty dangerous and like too hot in the summer etc so I was a little bit scared and skeptic about going however I was wanting to go I was in Italy it was my perfect opportunity to visit this place uh, in the summer so I went ahead and went anyways and I had an amazing time so if you ask me I would say yes go to Naples it's a perfect middle point for you to visit amazing destinations like Capri, Pompeii, uh, Amalfi Coast, Positano etc it's also a place where the food is delicious uh, the people are amazing very welcoming very loving so you feel at home I felt so at home in Naples yes it is a little bit dirty what else cons about visiting Naples you can't control the weather so that's doable it's fine you can't miss pizza Napolitana I mean if you like pizza you will be a traitor if you say no to Naples if you're new to this channel my name is Daniela I call myself the therapist nomad because I'm a therapist and I'm also traveling the world therefore the name I do put a lot of love and effort into this video so I hope that you enjoy watching it as much as I enjoy making them let's get started if you want to know about recommendations where to stay in Naples, I recommend Chiaia. This area of the city is one of my favorites. It's definitely cleaner than Centro Historico and there are also a bunch of wonderful restaurants, coffee shops, places to have drinks and all the brand stores. I like it. All right, guys, as I said, Chiaia was my favorite neighborhood in Naples. It's definitely an upscale neighborhood. It is further away from the Centro Storico and it's considered the trendiest area of Naples. Definitely cleaner, the best restaurants are here, so if you have a good budget, this is where to stay. Ooh, and let me not forget to mention that this area is just a few steps away from the beach area. So if you enjoy the ocean breeze and you want to appreciate a morning jog with the sea view, this is your spot. you there for a second because if you're liking what you see and you are appreciative of my efforts of making this video happen so you can access this information please 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 don't be shy support my channel give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and leave a comment with any feedback recommendations or whatever you want to say feel free to hop on in the comments and say something Vomero is another nice neighborhood in Naples it's located in a hill and it's definitely another upscale area of the city from there, you will get a fantastic view over the Centro Storico and the city center, the Gulf of Naples and Vesuvio standing tall in the background. You will know Vomero is your place to stay if you love shopping, if you like the artsy, hipster area and a good nightlife. Now, if you like to be where the action happens, you need to be by Piazza del Plebecito. This is a great location if you like to be close to all the sites and attractions you're going to be right by the Quartieri Spagnoli and Centro Historico also not too far from the main shopping street in Naples called Via Toledo Hey, this is a shopping street where many high street fashion brands are located exclusive shops, great restaurants and just in the middle of everything Oh, and if you are by Via Toledo, don't be shy. Explore and wander around the side streets. You're going to see the true Napolitano neighborhoods, which are so authentic. It doesn't get more authentic than this, guys. Safety tip, 
Be aware of the motorcycles. They are all over the place and some of them are very confident in their skills. Like you'll see them driving, looking back to the side, not looking to the front. They're not careful. So you got to be careful for yourself. As I said, the Spanish Quarter is not far from here and this is another option to stay. It used to be rotten with crime and prostitution back in the day, but this is almost completely gone for this area. This neighborhood is for you if you are looking for budget accommodations, if you're a backpacker or if you're a budget traveler. And also if you are a street food lover, they have amazing places to eat in this area. Oh, and how can I forget, this is also the perfect spot to find all of the street vendors. All right, so tell me that you are in the Centro Historico without telling me that you're in the Centro Historico. <laughs> The Centro Historico, or the Old Town, is the true heart of Naples. Its charm comes from the narrow streets in the old medieval houses, which are very well preserved by the UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1995. If you are visiting Naples and you're not staying in this area, it's still a must-see. I really suspect that these streets never sleep. There is so much going on, so many shops for souvenirs, amazing places to eat, have coffee, everything's handmade. It's really a unique experience. During my visit, I did stay in this area, so it's definitely more budget friendly if that's what you're looking for. I have to say it's not the cleanest, it's a very busy area, but it's amazing. I wanted to feel the bona fide vibes of Naples, so this is why I stayed here. I loved it. It was safe. I didn't feel unsafe at any moment, not even at night, but I was with good company too. I was with my mom, with my aunt, with my boyfriend, so I felt okay, you know, wandering around and I didn't feel unsafe at all. People are very friendly, so if you need directions, if you need anything, they will help you. I would just say, don't be alone, but for the most part, if you're not wearing anything like luxurious or any jewelry, you'll be perfectly fine, you'll blend in. Also, if you have the opportunity, come to this area with an empty stomach because you can definitely get a food tour in here. One of the most important pizzerias is here is the number one pizzeria napolitana and in every five feet you will find a gelateria, cafeteria, risoteria, all type of things. So I will recommend that you get your own food tour in this street. So I know that this video is not on food or restaurant recommendations, but one of the reasons why I loved my stay, and here's the Airbnb information where I stay at, it's because two minutes away I had the best cafeteria in Naples. It's owned by this couple, Deborah and Cheeto. They are the most wonderful, loving people ever. They were so welcoming. We met them the day we got there, and I'm not kidding. we visited them every single day for coffee, for baba, for breakfast, for uh, snacks before dinner, for apparel spritz, for limoncello spritz, and everything was A++. Now come and enjoy with me our experience at the Cafeteria Nani. Nuggets. So so just so you guys know, Deborah over here, my friend, Hi. she's the owner of this restaurant. La calle do canone. La calle. La calle. La calle. Canone, they have also amazing croissants and the coffee has been the best in Naples. I'm going to show you around so you can see it, but this is real traditional, authentic, Napolitano food. It's not like the places that you go for tourists, this is the real deal. And I'm going to enjoy my mozzarella. Mm. Cheers! <laughs> Thank you so much for joining my channel. I'll be seeing you very soon. I'm currently in Dubai actually, so therefore <laughs> this design in my finger. So that's going to be the next video coming up. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>